Uh, hi, my name is Marcus Holder I'm with the Frederick County Highway Operations and uh, the Traffic Division in the sign room. Uh, we are a specialized unit into the highway operations portion uh, and we focus on traffic management. Um, our main focus is on uh, installing and upgrading row name signs uh, where it could be a general warning sign which is your yellow diamond 30 by 30 uh, curve sign uh, to give you a warning that there's a curve ahead. Uh, to repairing stop signs that are down or vandalized. Uh, the personnel we have in the department is eight. Currently we have a foreman, assistant foreman, uh, and then we the rest are either sign techs, uh, sign aides. We're very passionate and we take a lot of pride in what we do. We take our time. Uh, we ensure that we are serving the community to the best of our abilities by taking numerous classes and certifications. Uh, everything that we do is MUTCD certified. Uh, what that is, is that is the uh, manual uniform traffic control devices and that is for the streets and the highways and that's basically a standard uh, that puts across the board for us to follow of how big these signs have to be. Um, the, the font on the signs to ensure that they are visible to motors. Um, most signs, depending on what it is, uh, like the street name signs, which is your green signs, the, guide, the ones that guide you on the road, uh, have to be six inches. So this right here is octagon. It's a stop sign, it says stop. These letters are actually about 10 inches to display. Um, these are, you always find these at intersections. So this right here is a general warning sign. This is basically saying pedestrian head. Uh, this will be put up before crosswalks or at crosswalks, depending. Um, if it was at a crosswalk, underneath here would be a smaller sign with the arrow pointing down towards the crosswalk to tell you that's where the crosswalk physically is. This right here is a black and white sign, regulatory sign, tells you the speed limit. So we do a lot here. Uh, we don't contract our signs out. We make them here in-house. We buy the material. Um, we roll them on and we install them ourselves. Um, we about, with maintenance and re-upgrading, we, we do about 5,000 signs a year. Avoid uh, vandalism, of course, can play a factor in anything. It can come from graffiti, uh, some, so for somebody spraying a stop sign down, or it could be from somebody running it over, or somebody just running it over and then taking it, and then we have to replace the whole sign. We have uh, numerous ways how we can find uh, signs that are not feasible to be on the road. So in other words, we have uh, the, the public. The public helps us, up, helps us out tremendously on uh, road name signs or just signs in general. Uh, they call into the office down here at the highway department. They give their name, their number, the location of where the sign may be down or missing. Um, and a work order is in uh, generated and is sent up here to the sign room and then we go out to where the call may be and then go out and investigate and see what we need and what the, the issue is. Um, or it could be as simple as taking a truck out real early in the morning and going out and uh, just stumbling across the sign and nobody's called in and fixing it right there on the spot. With our material that we have, we have aluminum signs, which is the back facing to put the signs on with the reflectivity material. And that's kind of what uh, we here do in the sign room. See so what I'm doing here is I'm peeling off these letters so they can be transferred from this film onto this material, this name blade, to show the road. And these road name signs, this was called in uh, yesterday around, I think, 15 minutes before quitting time. And first thing I came in here this morning was to make these. So, and these will be installed by today. So signs, it depends on what type of sign you're making. Obviously, this is there's a lot to these signs. Uh, there's a lot that we have to do in order to get the, the finished product. Um, you have to print this out. You have to take the film off, the access film that you don't need for the sign. Um, you have to apply transfer tape as we did over here. Then I have to take it to that roller, 
And then as you saw with the earlier sign, just transfer it onto the aluminum and then it will be a done deal for that blade. And we have multiple trucks that are out on the street uh, doing these work orders and ensuring that the signs that are out there don't need to be replaced because after a while, 20 years, the reflectivity at nighttime goes down. So at night when your headlights hit it, you might it might not reflect back because it's so shot. So we go around and ensure that they are still legible at night by going off the, the sticker and by uh, after a while they start to crack. And once they start to crack, that's kind of a tail uh, telltale sign that it needs to be replaced. To contact the Frederick County Highway Office, it's 301-600-1564. Um, if you would like to go on the Frederick County website to contact us, uh, just go to the County Roads tab and uh, it, it will guide you from there.